Hi everyone! Today I want to share a quick card with the Magical Meadow bundle. This bundle is retiring soon and it's just beautiful so I wanted to show another way to use it before it goes away. Um, I think it's lovely the stamps and what's even more lovely is the paper and luckily the paper is going to hang on for a little while longer. You're still going to be able to get that online going forward even though the mini catalog expires in just a couple weeks. Um, the paper will carry over for a while. So here's the paper. I think it's gorgeous and I'm kind of hoarding it and then I realized it's carrying over so I don't have to hoard it anymore. But look how beautiful these images are. And this is the one we're going to use on our card. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful paper. Look at that. You know I love watercolor if you've been to my channel before. So these watercolor images are just beautiful. This one is a deer and I think this would be one of those papers that you can cut into six backgrounds for a card. So I think that's lovely. That's little misty trees like that. Here's some more, more of a blue. And these beautiful winter berries. Anyway, I think I've used some of the other patterns up so we can't see them. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to use that one. And this is a card from Stamp Camp, so I have little packets left over from Stamp Camp and I thought we'd make them up. So, what I've used here is this little circle is from the Deckled Circles dies. And I thought it would be a good idea to put something behind my sprigs just because it's going on to these patterns here. So that kind of just gives it a little anchor and we're not going to even do anything to that. It's just how it is. <laughs> so here are the pieces for this. We've got two pieces of basic white and these are cut at four by five and a quarter. There's two of those. One is for the inside and one is for the outside. And then I've got these pieces of designer series paper. And these are both four inches wide. They're going to cover up the entire piece of white here. And then this one is two inches, two and a half. So that makes this one three. And I want to tell you where this paper came from. I was using up all of this paper from the Magical Magical Meadow, is that what it's called? Winter Meadow paper pack and I wanted a blue to go with it. This is Misty Moonlight. So the nice thing about Stampin' Up! is the color coordination and um, you know how they have their core colors and you know that you can go through a different pack of paper and find something that coordinates. So I went through this pack and this one is called One Horse Open Slate. This is an online only paper so you're not going to find this in a catalog but it's a really great little paper pack and it has some Misty Moonlight in it. So I'm using that as my base. And these, this card is super fast, we're just going to layer those directly onto, oops, oh that's right, okay, oh, I did it upside down, I wanted the blue stripe to be the ooh, side that shows, I need a new glue. I'm not worried about that because I'm going to layer some ribbon on top of that anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so I've got my little background here, and I wanted to put it onto another piece um, because I want to tie a ribbon around it, and I just thought it would be easier at stamp camp. Sometimes it's hard to um, work with something that doesn't have something to glue it, to attach it to, and then we can... Um, work from here, so that's what I thought would be simpler. And then, that's going to cover up that little glue error. <laughs> so you can go all the way around and tie it with a bow. I'm going to not do that just because I'm really running out of this ribbon and I really like it. Um, it's Lost Lagoon. It's really pretty. It's kind of got a linen look to it. It just feels nice. It looks nice. It's got a nice texture. So I've already got glue down <laughs> because of my little mishap. So I don't need to add any glue, but I'm going to go ahead and put some on the underside. 
And here, when I put a ribbon down, I like to use either tear tape or a glue dot. It just is a quicker adhes adhesion. And um, I love the liquid glue, but you know, it can slide around for a little bit and I don't want this ribbon to slide around. All right, so I've got my background, super simple, right? And I'm gonna put that down on a card base of Misty Moonlight, which I love also. Okay, and then we've got our little deckled circle that's gonna go down right here. And that you can add some little dimensionals to give it some dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put a few dimensionals down. There we go. And stick that right here. And you can bias it a little bit higher than the center. Okay. And that's going to kind of help me know where to put my bow. You can also just make a nice little knot if you don't want to do a full bow. Clean up my ends here. All right, so now I'm just gonna layer these little sprigs. Now the sprigs, here's our set right here. Our sprigs come from the dies and this die set is really nice. You've got really intricate little Kind of vines with berries on them and then you've got some that look like kind of pine needles this looks like a little thistle there's a holly leaf and there's even more on this side there's a snowflake die that kind of adds some texture to your background and then these all cut out the images so you've got a little bit of everything here um, i already cut out some sprigs because i do that for stamp camp because there's um, usually 14 or so people and i don't want to have this big line at the die machine so I cut these out since they don't need to be stamped or anything, like so. But there is one die I didn't cut out ahead of time because I just really thought I would lose them. And that's this one. This is part of the set and it's tiny little circles. They're berries and I noticed that they're the exact number of berries needed to cover all the little dots on the various sprigs. So, so you just need to cut this once. and. Um, it's hard to see that probably, but I'm using this shimmery kind of blue foil. I think that's on clearance or maybe it's, it's part of a pack and I'm going to use that. You can also use, if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber, you got glitter glue in the last kit and that's really sparkly. So that is a fun one. I'm going to just cut out some of these little berries. Okay, I'm going to leave them on there. And then what I did was I just took that glue and I added a little dot to each of the little berries. It just adds a little shimmer. I know it's kind of a, a tedious little step, but it adds such a nice sparkle to the card. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool and just place down these little shimmery dots. First, I gotta get them out of there.
Okay, so there we go. And I think that just adds such a nice sparkle. So we're gonna go ahead and put that down. Now, these are tiny, so sometimes it's hard to put them down, but I find that if I just use that liquid glue and just kind of add a little bit down the sprig and you just let it go, it kind of works nice. And I don't do every little bit of it. I like that it's kind of free flowing a little bit on the card. It kind of um, is a little bit loosey goosey. And our label, our sentiment is gonna hold it down a little bit too. Okay, so now I've got our sentiment and I'm gonna do that in embossed white. So I think there's this one that says winter wishes. I like this one. May the season of sparkle bring joy and delight. I'm going to do that one because I need some cards. So this is just a scrap of Misty Moonlight and I think it's three quarters of an inch by three, yep. And I left my embossing trays at my classroom, which is a room I, I rent, and I don't have them at home. I left them, I, I brought an extra one because a lot of the projects used embossing last time, so I brought, I have one that I keep there, and I brought my home one too, and then I forgot to bring it back home. So I'm just going to use this little scrap here and be careful. There we go. Okay. Did I leave my tweezers there too? No, nope, I got those. All right. Okay, and then to finish this off, all I did was cut a little, I've got some of that glue on me. There we go. Cut a little angle off there. And then I'm just gonna lay it down right here. Move my bow over a little bit. Like so. And I think I'll use a few dimensionals for that. And that'll kind of help hold those little sprigs down too. It's doing double duty. And then on the inside of the card, I wanted to use some of these stamps. They're just so pretty. I wanted to point out too that the berries kind of, there's like a gap. See how there's berries on the top and now? So I wanted to put this where that gap in the berries are so I'm not covering any of those pretty berries. I think that's just, it's so simple, yet it's really pretty. I just think this paper is magical and I love these sprigs. So if you'd like those sprigs, you gotta get them now. Okay, on the inside, remember I had that extra piece of basic white. I'm going to stamp on that. And um, this little piece, whenever I'm doing cards, you end up with these tiny little scraps that are left over and I hate to throw them away. So I just um, keep them and sometimes I stick them on the inside of a card. Sometimes I don't. It kind of depends. All right. So I loved this stamp here. It's got the berries and it's got that kind of holly. So I'm going to use that. But instead of using my stamp pads to ink this up, I'm going to use my markers. So I've got Shaded Spruce and of course Misty Moonlight. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these to put ink on our stamp. And that way we can avoid the berries. So I can just kind of, and there's a brush tip and a nib tip. There's a nib tip, hopefully you can see that. And the brush tip, goes nicely on the stamp, which is one of the reasons why I like markers. There's so many different coloring tools. Um, Stampin' Up! sells two different markers. One is a water-based marker, which is what I'm using right now, and that is in all of our colors, and you, it's great for this particular technique, coloring directly to the stamp. Um, the other marker is called stamp and blends those are alcohol based markers and those are also great however they are not great for this technique because 
um, it's like um, alcohol based markers are kind of like a sharpie they're permanent so first of all you're gonna permanently stain your stamp which is not a huge deal because once it's dry it's still usable and it doesn't matter but what happens is it dries so fast by the time you've colored this in over here is dry and then you go to stamp with it and nothing's gonna come off <laughs> that ink is gonna be dried onto your stamp not transfer it to your paper which is not what you're looking for so it's just not a good coloring tool for rubber stamps it's great for coloring images though and I really do love them so anyway that's my little marker tip <laughs> okay so I've got this down and then I'm gonna go in with that misty moonlight and do the berries I might have missed a stem right there. As I was coloring the berries, I realized I forgot to do the stem next to the berries. We'll see how that turns out. I can go back in or I can not worry about it. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can add a little bit more shaded spruce to that stem area that I was talking about. Okay, all right. Now, this ink also dries, but you can kind of do this. First of all, if you stamp it, it's probably still gonna work. However, another thing you can do is just kind of huff on it, which it gives a little bit of that moisture from your breath, kind of just reactivates that a little bit. So I can't do that on camera because um, then my head would be underneath here and my hair's a mess right now. But you can see that I did it because now see how there's <laughs> my black kind of had some vapor on it. All right, so. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stamp that down. And isn't that beautiful? This is one of those stamps that are called distinctive stamps. And that's stamps that have these little, um, they're very finely etched with um, highs and lows. So you've got some deep areas where the etching is um, less. And then you've got some where the etching is really deep. So you can get shaded areas. It's not all flat is what I'm trying to say. So see how this leaf is light on the top, but dark underneath where the shadow would be. You've got different tones in the trees. It's just a gorgeous um, stamp. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's put this down since I have it. And then on the inside here, I can you know, put my Christmas greeting if I'm gonna use it for Christmas. This is beautiful for anybody with a winter birthday. Um, it's also lovely for just a hello winter hello I just think this is a gorgeous stamp anyway I hope you like it if you like this stamp set grab it now I'll put a link in the video description and um, they did not discontinue sometimes they discount things that are retiring this one did not get discounted and that is because sometimes they feel they don't need to discount it because they don't have very many left or they feel that it's popular enough so it is not discounted it is just retiring which is a sad sad thing but um, you can get this now I checked to make sure there was still some in inventory but the paper like I said it's gonna carry on so if you grab the stamp bundle with the dies grab some of that paper too because it's just gorgeous and there you go super fast pretty card thank you so much for watching I hope you'll subscribe and come back again bye